morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Starting this morning off like I ended yesterday. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, we definitely got a late start today. I think Jared and I were both at home. Like, uh, that uh, was messaging people. I didn't plug my truck in this morning, so it's all iced over. That's what you get for a Dodge. You have to plug it in. Hey, hey. <laughs> I like to see if your truck is still running when it has as many miles as mine does. <laughs> Him Fords. <laughs> At least you got that heated tailgate. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, for when it breaks down so you can push it without freezing your hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are we doing today? Hopefully more than we did yesterday. What do we, so yesterday, we took this apart and kind of put it back together. Um, remember, you got to leave all the bolts loose. So it spins, <laughs> but <laughs> we have more shims on the way so we can adjust that properly. But I think we should paint it. Yeah, we'll get them painted. Get this well, painted. Well, this and the transmission, and right? And the transmission. So. Thank God. Today's gonna be a lot easier than yesterday. So I'm sure you guys are excited. We're gonna paint again. <laughs> yeah, nothing crazy. You know, we're not, we're not uh, gonna be doing anything crazy on this paint job. No. And we're gonna paint it, and we're gonna take all the bolts out, replace all the bolts, and that's pretty much it. You know. Now, we're actually gonna rattle can it. Yeah, this one, we're so, just gonna rattle can. Just cause I have the color, yeah. the spray paint. So, you guys will see, yeah. the color's pretty cool. Um, I found it from Eastwood. I did my last coyote swap on the Bronco with this color that we're it's gonna kind be using. Of a bronze. It's, it's like a bronze of... color, yeah. Brown, almost. Brown it's like is brown. bronze. It's yeah. cool. You guys will see. You yeah. like it. That's the reason why I'm rattle canning, rattle canning this because <laughs> I don't feel like going and spending what, 150 bucks, 200 dollars on one more paint on a gallon of paint. Yeah, we got the rattle cans. Why not? So, yeah, but, it would be nice. But it's nice. This is what we've used on other, um, other. Uh, the red bronco mm -hmm. we did the transmission and the transfer case the same color it's nice because it's not a big flashy color but it does give you you know it's different so instead of just red like the block on the ford or leaving it bare or black so many people paint stuff gloss black which i mean it looks good on like a frame and some parts but i wouldn't do it on the transmission or transfer case personally it just looks a little tacky so um it's like all the Wheeler guys, the Toyota guys, you know? <laughs> they break all the time, they fix it, they just ch -ch -ch. So yeah. we're trying not to do that. But, but we're also trying to keep it to where, you know, keeping it real with what a typical person's gonna do in their, you know, the, their garage, their backyard. We are typical, typical guys. Yeah. It's, you know, we it's did not, this in the garage. <laughs> these aren't SEMA builds. So, you know, that's where we're at all the haters out there that maybe we should step it up no because that's that, not fun for anybody like people are like this is unrealistic well you know, we do we have an idea that. that's something that's just cool that you want that could be a and SEMA that's going to happen that's going to happen and we will <laughs> take it to SEMA I wasn't thinking about it because I'm not that type of person that's going to throw myself out there and be like oh hey look at me <laughs> but I think that'd be a cool a cool starting point a goal get our name out there meet some new people some cool people I don't no, want to but... meet anybody. <laughs> every every person I meet, they disappoint me. <laughs> They're just no, I'm kidding, not really. But uh, all right, so we're gonna try to see what we can do about getting that transmission down here. I'm sure you guys remember when it got delivered, Jared got the forklift stuck. Um, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna try to do you eat your Wheaties. Yep. All right, I didn't. So let's see what we can do. We're gonna grab that transmission, huff it down here. I don't know. Scuff it up a little bit. Maybe a little primer. Maybe just paint. I don't know. We'll figure it's it out. It's already done. Most of it's already prepped. It's already painted. So let's step it up. Is it? I thought it was bare. Oh, well, it's painted, I think. I think it was painted. But anyways. That's just bare aluminum. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Alright. We'll be back.
guys think? Army green? Nah, it's just the primer. It's actually coming out pretty good. It's such a cool color. This is literally the perfect transmission color. I think so. I like it. It matches with everything. Not the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we'll see how they look when they're all dried up. This is lit. All right, guys. Transmission and transfer case are all done. Came out perfect. Can't wait to get all these bolts swapped out. This thing's gonna look so good. So Chris is in here right now. Getting the transmission support of the cross member all unpackaged. What do you got there? Oh, this is the cross member for the AOD from Tom's Broncos. Always love ordering from them, besides their steep shipping prices. <laughs> they always have everything in stock. Where are they located? I mean, it's not I think close. Oregon, Washington. Oh, they're in Oregon? Oregon, yeah. yeah why is it so Oh, it's ex stupid expensive. <laughs> we should see if our roll cage guy will just stop by and pick it up for us. Right? Ship, Ship with his, his rates. Right. That was way better. <laughs> so, one thing with Tom's Broncos, all of their... Uh, their stuff, their products always come with hardware. Directions, you need those. <laughs> yeah, we built a paint booth with no directions. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's see if they're the right fit though. What? No way. <laughs> That's insanity. Well, it came with all eight for the cross member. No, probably seven. <laughs> I don't trust anybody anymore. Man, I'm really starting to see your hate come out today. You don't want to meet anybody new today. Made mm -hmm. that clear in the first part, the intro. Mm -hmm. Got hate in your heart, let it out. <laughs> it's a time and a place. <laughs> <laughs> Call Kelly. <laughs> don't tell Megan. <laughs> Anyways. So it looks like it came with the two bolts that go into the transmission. The eight bolts that go into the frame. All the hardware. It looks like it's all there. So, oh, well, that's mad. good. I like it. Let's see if we can actually get this thing together today. Yeah, and we're gonna get this cross member put the in. We flywheel somewhere too, right? Yeah, the flywheel's up in the and office. 28 ounce. 28 ounce, yep. Like a 54 So we're probably gonna have to get hardware for that because that was one thing I did forget. Oh, the nuts that go on it? Yep. So, well, we're gonna get this going. Get this thing, uh, at least get the cross member put in. Then we'll roll it out to where we can get access with the forklift because we can't access Jared it didn't from... eat enough weedies today he's worried about picking i'm not the holding this up. i'm not holding that transmission i already carried it from up there down the steps i did my part we have a forklift for a reason so anyways guys stay tuned and we'll get this time lapse going all right what do you got going on here what were you showing me all right so what you with your light who needs a fancy GoPro light when you just got the Milwaukee flashlight. So we put Vaseline on these seals before we painted so that uh, <laughs> the paint doesn't stick to them so it looks nice. <laughs> Did that just happen? Are you kidding me? Bro. You learn something every day, don't you, Jared, huh? Look at this. Look at this, guys. No mask job would have done that. No. I mean, it's like brand new. And mind you, if you're trying to do a budget paint job, you can do it on door handles. You can do it on, you know, like the little lock, the little round lock that's in older cars right there in the door. Just psh, a little Vaseline on it. Don't even bother taping it off and just wipe off the, the shit when you're done. There's the other side. Just doing a, a budget paint job. So if you guys know anybody, this transfer case is for sale. Yeah, we decided to go a different way. Message me. You can send me an email at info at mbimotorsports.com or just shoot a comment down below. We'll get a hold of you there. Um, 
this this is the uh, J shift um, so it is capable of the front and rear independent independent we weren't actually gonna run it that way but someone could that we can do front wheel drive only it is nice if you're gonna if you are doing some wheeling and you want to uh, and you have a locker in the front and you don't necessarily want to be locked up in four-wheel drive the whole time you pop the rear to neutral just kind of cruise along your way uh, especially if you have a spool which I doubt anyone in a Bronco has a spool but still that's so something to know we are gonna be changing out all these bolts real quick um, they're all gonna be new right and we're putting the additional shims in here that are required yep new shim kit new seals new gaskets so it's all been redone the gears on this thing were literally flawless oh, brand new. on this they literally were brand i honestly think this thing was rebuilt before we got it so we actually picked it up at wild horses at a swap meet but this is for sale freshly painted new bolts it's all gone it's all gone through but we are going to be running a NP205 on the AOD just because it's a direct hookup on that bad boy. If you guys don't know, you have to redo the tail shaft. Basically, we don't want to rebuild it. Yep. That's what it comes down to. Yep. It's easier for us to source the 205, sell the 20 um, to use on that transmission because this one actually is in really good shape. It was pretty recently rebuilt within the last like 10,000 miles before the vehicle was wrecked. <clears throat> no reason for us to break it all down apart because if you guys know to replace that the tail shaft uh, on any transmission pretty much you are rebuilding the whole damn thing yep you take everything out to get to that one little piece yep so instead of doing that to run this we're just going to get a different transfer case that just will bolt up now there is one thing we will need to do to this on the last build we had the 4r70 and the shift rails come through right here. So this needs to be ground out for the shift rails to clear. Um, that's no big deal. True, yep. And that was one Did of the Did you forget about that, Jared? Well, that was yeah. one on the twin stick mod. It, it doesn't matter. So, it's, it, it's still, but I was thinking about that required. when you said that, yeah. no matter what, it needs to but be. But this is aluminum. So you just take your die grinder, no big deal. It's yep. done in two seconds. Yep, so we'll show you guys all that, but to to do that, um, the advanced adapter from this to the Dana 20 was like, what, 600 and yeah, 600 bucks? Yeah, it was 625, so it wasn't Without shipping. Then you have to have the cost of rebuilding this, and JR's That's transmission just deal. said it was 400 bucks, our cost, to do that. Um, you shouldn't even say their name or <laughs> The, so it is what cost, it is. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no secrets here. So you guys see where we get all of our stuff. We're, you know, all this stuff's China bought. Well, the transmission's not. The lifts and paint booth. But that was the reason why we didn't go that route. So we've been another, you know, 1100 bucks, 1200 bucks shipping to have this work the way it needs to work. So, which is why we're going 205 route. So it's oh, going to cost us. if you have a Ford 205 and you want to sell it, let us know. Yeah. And another AOD transmission too. We need another AOD. So well, we need two 205s. And another AOD. And another AOD. But that's where we're at with this. So we got them painted. It's all ready. We were supposed to have a video on getting this dropped in once again to the frame and that's not happening. So I started reading that transmission or the um, transmission support instructions and it says this adapter will not work on this transmission so which is where our research started going through and now we're probably going to be driving three hours to go get our new np205 transfer case so no we're not driving three hours we're driving like five and a half hours <laughs> it's killed both ways there that is go. correct that is correct so six hours total because we do live in california on crappy roads with crappy people and crappy traffic so we're gonna be about six and a half hours easily and it is we should take a little red zoom zoom 12 30 and i just got a message back let's see what it says Real time. here now what are you thinking so he wants to sell it for 350 i asked him if the, he was firm on that and obviously he's not so i'm gonna tell him 250 if we drive down there now so now now oh now now now
right. <laughs> so we're gonna be road tripping, so I'm sure you guys will see a portion of this video. Hopefully we don't see anything crazy, but we will see you guys no, soon. We do see something crazy. Yeah, just not involving like homeless us. Guys like taking craps on the side of the road. And <laughs> just hold on. Yeah, two story homeless, homeless camps. <laughs> Dude. So, all right guys, stay tuned. <laughs>